My name is Rachel. My son is Kyle. He has autism. I am Kyle. I am nine years old. He's been with CARD since he was two years old, so that's about seven years. We've been really fortunate that we've seen so much change in Kyle that you would really not even realize he has autism. The front of the book has an artwork piece. Is that me? No, that's a self-portrait, that's why. I thought so. Look at you're wearing the same kind of color shirt. He had been going along with pretty main milestones. He had walked on time, he had sat on time, he was looking at me at different things and laugh, and he had about five words, and then all of a sudden he lost the words. And I would call his name and he wouldn't look at me anymore. He all of a sudden went into his own world. I mean, I just, I just noticed like he slipped away from us. I got into UCLA because somebody called in sick one day and we were on her waiting list, but she said, oh, I had a cancellation. Can you bring your son in today? I took my son in with my mom and we had a two and a half hour appointment where they observed his behavior, noticed they didn't have any words. He was climbing all over things and jumping off her furniture because he had no sense of fear. He couldn't actually feel very much. The doctor told me, ask for a card, you can call them. I called them and got on their waiting list. And then I started researching what ABA was. ABA with CARD was the only scientific based research that had shown that children could improve or now they even say recover. And my son, I think, having all this therapy early, he's gonna graduate from CARD. He's going to be able to be part of the community as a typical kid. How does it make you feel when you play the violin? It makes me a little bit calmer. Kyle, early on, he only liked um, baby food. And even at age four, he was eating baby food and he wouldn't, he, he liked lots of flavors, but he didn't like anything with the texture. So he, he wanted everything pureed. So if you can imagine as a mom, I'm up, you know, cooking carrots and then pureeing them when he couldn't just have a carrot, it was really time consuming and I could get the protein and everything into him, but he wasn't eating like a typical child. It was one year later, he, instead of eating blended bananas, he was now, you know, peeling the banana and biting into the banana. Taking a hot dog on a gluten-free bun and biting into it, I mean, that is just amazing. So that was one of the main things I came home thinking, wow, this is great. It really was a relief for me because I was doing a lot of blending. I think I went through three blenders and that's just not every mom that wants to have a regular meal and be able to have in you know, the same food with their son. So it really helped. Right now he's on the road to recovery, we call it. And I really do think that Kyle in a, in a year or two will not even need assistance with therapists. He really is in a typical class and he's at the highest level. He's in the advanced level. He's in a gate class. I don't even think anyone knows in his class he has autism because He's just there. This is a mobile. I got a very good grade on it. I got four because my teacher said that she learned a lot about Neil Armstrong. This is a drawing of Neil, first footprint on the moon. And is, is his footprint still there? Yeah, it is, and his boots. And his boots? He left his boots on the moon. He did. Everyone thinks he's very kind and he gives hugs to everyone, so the social interaction is there. He's very intelligent, he's highest in his class, and he makes friends, and he loves to read, and he's just a part of groups when he meets people. My first trip to SeaWorld, I wrote it, but I wanted to make sure that you noticed that the sun is moving higher. What does that signify? That signifies that time is going. This is artwork in a frame. That it took me a lot of work to do. I have some instruments over here. Something inspired me to make instruments. This was from last year for a fundraiser. This is the surfing pictures. So here sure. you're going on the surfboard. And did you stand up right away? Yeah, I did. You did. And show us how you your stance on the surfboard. Ready? Go. And what do you, what's your favorite part about surfing? 
The very first time I loved the wipeout. And I hope that you enjoyed me, Mom, and all of my interests and learning a little bit about me.